looking again at our reference image and then comparing it to the base geometry setup that we have already created, one thing we perhaps immediately notice is missing are the C-shape extrudes that run down the sides of the valve housing and that have these two bolts running into the welded base. What we want to do in this video then is go ahead and create these pieces, which we can easily do with the help of a couple of splines. Coming to the front viewport then, let's press Alt and W to maximize. And then after selecting all of our regulator geometry, change the wire color here in order to make things easier to see. Black should do nicely in this instance. And then let's click OK once we are done. Now this third cylinder in the stack is of course the one that we want to make our adjustments to. Although one thing I am noticing as we look at our setup in the orthographic view is that our cylinders all seem to be floating a little. And so whilst we are here, let's just close up those gaps. Now we don't necessarily want each piece touching, but we definitely want them closer than they are at this moment in time. Once done, in the Create Spline section of the Command Panel, we want to select the Line Tool. And then from the middle of this edge on our third cylinder, we want to click to start the spline creation process. Then whilst holding down the Shift key in order to constrain to a straight line, we can click out beyond the base. And then after using the middle mouse button just to frame our view a little better, Shift click again about halfway down the bottom cylinder. And then finally, we can right click twice in order to both end the creation process and exit out of the line tool. We can then hit the mirror icon up on the main toolbar, make sure that we are creating a copy here, and then move that over to the opposite side of the cylinder. Now, whenever working in orthographic views, we will of course need to check that objects such as our splines here are in the correct position. And so in the perspective view, Let's select both of the splines and then after pressing the Alt and A keys to bring up the Align tool, just make sure that they are nicely aligned on either side of our cylinder by aligning just on the Y axis. With the cylinder itself selected, let's right click and convert to an editable poly object. And then after jumping into polygon subobject mode, select the two polygons either side of our spline. Coming to the polygons panel on the ribbon, you see that we have this extrude on spline option. And so let's open up the settings dialog for this, pick the spline that we have, and straight away we get the basics of the extrusion that we want. It is a little bit messy at this moment in time, which is really down to the fact that we haven't actually filleted the spline. And so after coming out of subobject mode and with the spline selected, Let's come into vertex subobject mode and select the vertex that we want to work with. We can then scroll down the geometry rollout and in there set the fillet value to around about 0.3 centimeters, making certain, of course, that we do the same thing to the spline on the opposite side of the cylinder as well. Coming back to our cylinder, let's again open up the extrude on spline options where we can quickly zero out most of the spinners. And what we get now is a much smoother outline, one that we can always clean up a little more if we should want to. Let's click OK for now though. Come to the spline over on the other side and perform exactly the same set of operations. Although we are, of course, still making use of our initial spline, which will send our extrude in completely the wrong direction. So let's again click on the select or pick spline option then, pick the spline on this side of the mesh, and then click OK. What we have now is this nice set of extrusions that create the C shape around this base piece that we wanted. You will notice that we do have quite a sharp edge here, and so we will want to sort that out at some point. For now though, let's delete our splines, assuming that you're not going to want to tweak anymore, and then move on to our next video.